Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we saw how to implement the class components in React. In this lecture, we will work on converting the question detail component into class component and we will also see how to deal with React states into a class component. So first open the question detail component and copy the existing functional component and paste below. So open the project directory. Okay. And here is your question detail component. So what you need to do now that just to copy this component. Okay and comment this and throw this paste it here okay and now we need to convert this question detail component into a class component so we know that what we need to do to convert a com function component into class component that first replace the const with class keyword and then remove this method syntax and here you need to do extend and then react dot component that's it this is what we need to do to convert a functional component to a class component and the last thing we need to invoke render method sorry and inside the render method we need to place this return piece of jsx or we need to return this jsx okay so here you can paste it and just correct the indentation okay so this is how our question detail component will look like after converting it to a class component okay but first remove this const variable as well because with class component we don't need to use a state like this okay so let's go remove this and remove or comment this use the state on the top as well okay because now we're gonna handle the state in some different way because uh, use state is just a hook that is used to pro, uh, handle the states inside the function component but in class component to handle the state we need to use the constructor method and in the class component props also work in the some different way okay so first create a constructor method inside this class okay and and inside this constructor method what we need to accept so we need to accept props as the argument okay and accept props we need to define our states here okay or we need to define the states of this component inside the constructor so first uh, use the props so super props okay and then we can define this dot state okay. and then what will be the name of our state like count like count and define it or initialize it with zero here we are providing props as the argument to this constructor method. Now look at the render method. We are using props.question and like count as the state. So we need to change this way of accessing the props and state in the class component. We need to invoke both props and state as this. Okay, so what we need to do here, here at line number 16, you can see prop.question.title. So we need to change this to this.prop.question.title and same for the take this dot props dot question dot tail okay so first uh, reward rape the component okay and now here you can see we are using like count so we need to change the way of using this like count state as well what we need to do here this dot state dot like count okay and similarly we need to display the same thing so remove this like count as well and here what we need to do this dot state dot like count now we also need to change the way of updating the like count state on the on click event here you can see that what i am what we did previously that set like count and then we are updating the like count by one because we are using the use use state hook that time but now we are we have converted our question detail component into the class component so and we are using states in different way so we cannot use that so we need to remove this function okay because this will not work for now okay and what we need to do we need to define a custom component sorry a custom function which will update the state of this variable okay or which will update the state of or value of like count okay so let's define a new method after the construction or below the construction and you can name your method as update like counter okay update like counter and here what you need to do you need to provide you need to implement this method so you can use this dot set state 
okay the set state method is used to update the value of state okay and it will take the previous state as the or state a previous state as the argument okay and then it change the state okay so here what we can do so we can create a function inside it function and then state or you can use previous state as well okay and then simply need to return okay and what value you should return here so you can write the code here like count and then state dot like count plus one okay now save it and you need to provide this method into the on click call okay so you just copy this and what you can provide here this dot on click this dot on click okay and save it so we are all done we just converted the functional component into the class component and now we changed our constructor method as well and implemented a function to update the value of like count state okay now let's open the browser and refresh your page so when you refresh the page you will see that the counter is working infinitely even with we are not click on the like button and now inspect the browser so click or right click and inspect the browser and you will see a warning okay so go to the console tab into the browser and you will see the warning that is cannot update during an existing state transaction such as within render render method should be a pure function of props and state and this is the same thing that we discussed in the last lecture that render method should be pure now we need to remove this warning and stop the infinitely running counter okay this is happening because the update count function is not binded to this and uh, the binding is necessary to make this work in the callback okay so we need to bind the update count function as a handler in the constructor method so let's do that so switch to the question detail component again okay and what we need to do we need to bind our update like counter button okay so update log counter uh, you can say functions i always confuse the functions and methods so i just interchangeably use it so you can simply call is functions okay so just use this dot update click handler equal to this dot update click counter and then you can bind this handler to this okay, and now save this and after saving the con after saving this handler you need to remove the parenthesis from this and this will work okay save this and now refresh your browser so switch to the browser and refresh your page okay and once your page is refreshed you can see that the warning is not appearing now because now our uh, render function is a pure function and when you click on the like you can see that it is working correctly now our state is working fine and it is true for all the components or all the question detail component rendering on the browser so both the warning has been removed and the infinitely running counter has been stopped and that was the objective of this lecture so in this lecture we learned how to convert an existing functional class component and handle the states into the class without using any hook okay and we also learned how to bind the handler events to this in the react okay so far we learned how to create both functional and class components how to handle states in functional components using hooks and how to handle states in class components however this is really very basic examples that we seen so far but moving forward in the course we can see some complex state management as well okay so let's give this lecture a try at your end and let me know through comments if you have any doubt and i will be glad to help you so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe